Um, me again. Not quite so flash this time. Um, some of you might remember quite some time ago, I obviously started the Amica project uh, a long time ago, but one of the first aims which I wanted to achieve with it was actually to get the Amica based on the ION chipset. Most of you probably know the ION is the uh, NVIDIA 9400, 9300 series um, chipset which is to go on embedded devices. Um, but because I was trying to pair an ITX motherboard with the best system I can, I wanted to go ION. The problem was at the time, um, well we didn't have any 3D drivers, <laughs> let's be blunt. Um, and over time Nouveau came along um, with Deadwood and Christophe obviously doing all this amazing work with um, Gallium and the mess support which is uh, absolutely stunning but <laughs> to my surprise and delight um, the latest uh, Icarus that's being worked on at the moment has the drivers that support the ION board now if you look inside this this is one of the old um, Amica cases you might remember this is one of the original cube one it's got a um, a uh, DVD drive on top. Well, the problem I was at, I've, <laughs> I've been rushing to get this thing to work today, and I've gone through two hard drives and I can't get either of them to format. So, um, but I wanted to get this thing on um, camera so people can see it and actually hopefully go out and buy the things. Um, so, uh, what have I got now? I've got a Mini ITX motherboard. Um, this one's an ASUS. Um, it, it, I used that one because um, it's got HD audio drivers and it's got a uh, supported network cable on it um, which uses the RTL 8169 I believe or 8111 or something like that um, and uh, it's <clears throat> so it's basically an, uh, an Atom based mini ITX system it's not it's not got um, socket 775 it's an Atom it's dual core Atom but with ION and it makes such a difference and basically uh, you've got a really powerful 3D system in here with an iron, um, so with an atom. So um, I'm going to stop um, for a second, reset things up, and I'm going to give you a demo of what happens on screen. Okay, back in a second. Okay, here we go. Now this is uh, default resolution, so I'm just going to bring the resolution up so you can see the uh, driver working. So you can see now we've got all the Nouveau drivers in here. Let's go and find one I know my monitor likes. Okay, let's switch now. I am. Let's right so there we have now 1680 um, actually that's going to be a sod to see isn't it um, so let me just drop that down a bit let's get this down to something a bit more manageable um, let's say 1280 let's see what this looks like okay there you go so you can see a bit more there um, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to just run through some 3D demos but also something um, which is actually quite useful. So the first thing I'll do is let me just. This is a very brief, as you probably gather. This is actually quite a brief demo, um, but I just wanted everyone to see the um, what we can do now. Now, let me close that one down. You've probably mostly most of you have seen this, but remember this is running on an Atom system with iron. Um, <coughs> let's uh, scale some of these up a bit. There you go. See how smooth that is. Now. Bear in mind it's, it's still loading some bits. Okay, we got we we have, we seem to have a timer on this, but do you see how fast these are running and how smooth? Now let's get rid of that one because that one is a, an absolute hog. That might take a while to disappear. That one. Let's just shrink these down. See that? Oh, here we go. Teapot. Now, you can see, you know, going by all this, I mean, this is all running through the Gallium 3D driver. Now, just to prove that, if I bring that up full screen, pop it to the front, and do that, see how fast that is? <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love this. I've been waiting so long, it just, uh, you know, I on honestly believe in the atoms. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't mean for, you know, um, for your fast machines, you know, if you want to do um, 3D graphics and so on. Um, oh, I've got a bit of a, sh I might redo this actually, but we'll see. Um, I've got a bit of a thing from the sunlight here. There you go, but that's that. Now, the one thing it does allow, um, which... It's been really frustrating for me because um, not having had um, NVIDIA machines because I've been ITX based, there's this absolutely brilliant program which I'm sure most of you know about, but um, 
I wanted to show it actually running on here. This is called Load Paint, um, which there's there's obviously lots of great programs that's coming out now. I mean, we've got you know obviously well Load Paint's quite old now, but we've got Amifig, which is absolutely brilliant. But Load Paint's a bitmap based um, piece of software, but it's it's OpenGL powered, which meant that um, on the Atom based machines it just wouldn't run. So uh, I mean, here we go. Now this this thing is actually uh, properly usable. I, I'm I'm not going to embarrass you by doing anything any drawing, but just to show you, this thing it actually does work. Um, whereas it never did with um, before. So we've you know here you go. Here you, da -da -da -da. Look at that. How cool is that? So. Um, you can use load paint now, so um, you can have yourself an atom. Now these boards, um, you can get an ASUS one, which I've got, which is about eighty-five pounds, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, so eighty-five pound three D graphics. Um, I, I mean, I've always believed in the I, the ITX form factor for Amiga computers. Um, I, I am going to be. Um, I'm working on a few little secret bits for AROS um, coming out in March. You're going to. Well, you won't hear about that, but I'm, there's going to be some more information coming out in the later videos. But um, March is a, a, like a D-date. Well, end of March uh, is like a, ma a massive project. Lots happening. So by March, um, there's going to be some really good news. End of March, some really good news. All right, well, I thought you might like to see that. Um, there you go. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Bye.